If you've been anywhere on the internet in the past week or two, then you're probably very familiar with all the Butch Hartman Oaxis drama. I'm not going to sum up everything in this video because there have been plenty of other people who've done that and you should definitely check it out if you aren't aware of any of this Oaxis stuff. But over the past few weeks, it seems like his true colors were being revealed. He didn't seem like the amazing, wholesome, father-like figure that we all thought him to be. And for the most part, he was silent about the whole controversy, like he would just keep posting videos as normal. Danny Phantom, fairly odd parents videos he wouldn't talk about the actual controversy and that made people even angrier but the day has finally come his criticism has gotten so bad that he took to Twitter for his response and here it is hey heart fans I am humbled by the kindness and love that heart fans and friends have shown in recent days there are simply no words to express my thanks and gratitude I'm sorry for any confusion that you may have felt in the last week thank you for your patience all I've ever wanted to do is entertain people with programming the entire family can enjoy, and in keeping with that theme, that's what my most recent project is about. There have been others who think they've revealed another agenda, and honestly, I value and respect my fans and friends far too much to ever consider misleading you. I would never take the privilege of your trust lightly. Oasis Entertainment is not faith-based, however, faith is a part of me. I am the same guy I've been for the last 20 years, I'm not perfect, and certainly don't claim to be. I'm excited for what's ahead moving forward with this project. Hopefully it's something you'll really enjoy too. We can discuss all of this, the Twitterverse, YouTube, and more in the coming days. You are the best and I'm genuinely thankful for each and every one of you. Okay, now we need to take a bit of a deeper look into this response and see how genuine it is, or if it's just Butch making it because he's forced to since he's been getting so much hate recently. Now the first paragraph where he talks about how thankful he is of all his fans, honestly it doesn't seem too real because, keep in mind, this Oaxis situation has had a lot of people against him. The dislikes on his YouTube videos are way larger than normal, there just hasn't been a lot of support so I don't know why he's thanking the people. Also, when he's thanking his fans and saying how good they are, that's not really demonstrated by his past actions, like he seriously said some stuff on stream that you really wouldn't expect. Basically, if anyone gives him something that isn't support, he will bring you down. If you've had zero experience in the animation industry and you start talking bad about him, he will not even listen to anything you say. And keep in mind, this sort of criticism is coming from his fans, the people who enjoyed his work. But in this letter, he's saying how, oh boy, I love my fans. They're the best of all time. Yay. When in reality, that doesn't seem to be the case. Butch has also been going around copyright claiming anything involving him, any footage that puts him in a bad light, and uh, yeah, it doesn't seem you like your fans like that, kinda weird. The second paragraph said that he just wants to entertain people, and that Oaxis isn't what people think, it's not gonna be fully faith-based. Now I think a key point in this middle paragraph is that he says he values and respects his fans and friends far too much to ever consider misleading them. He did kinda mislead people people in the campaign of Oaxis, like he was talking about how this would be family friendly entertainment, but when he had that one talk earlier in the year, he was revealing what would actually happen with Oaxis, and while it won't be completely Christian stuff, there will be Christian values, some religious stuff, and he just wasn't clear with that during the campaign. I'm sure people wouldn't have a huge problem with it if he was just honest about it during the actual campaign. In the Kickstarter, he didn't really mention faith, religion, Christianity, any of that, when clearly that's at least going to be a major inspiration for Oaxis. And the final paragraph, he's just excited for what's coming in the future, although I'm really hoping he means what he says here. We can discuss all of this, the Twitterverse, YouTube, and more in the coming days. Now that is going to be really interesting because up to this point, he hasn't said anything on the topic, but if he actually starts answering questions honestly and he isn't just a really mean guy, then that's one step forward. Overall, as a response letter, this is pretty weak. It comes across as fake and he just had to make it because of all the hate. He knows that there were several things said on stream that are really bad, and those things were not addressed in this letter. But while I don't think his response is strong, he does still have the opportunity to change. Empty words like this don't do anything. He needs to be completely honest about the project, what's going to happen in the future, and he really just needs to change his mindset about people who are talking against him, because most of them are still fans, they just want to see him improve. Butch has manipulated some of his fans during the Oaxis campaign 
campaign, but that doesn't mean he can't change, and I do think it's still possible. Now, Butch wants a lot of people to see this tweet. It explains why he pinned it, why he put a comment on his YouTube video about it, and I just think if he wants to get past all this Oaxis drama, he needs to be truthful. He needs to be truthful in the next few days, not just ignore what's been going on, and think differently about his fans. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.